Kent and Mr. Peter Obi, we will hold you accountable. We are loyal to Nigeria. We are asking you, we are rallying behind you today, not because we think you are so special, but because we think at this moment that you are the one who has what it takes to take us to that place that we are supposed to be. And we are saying to you, indeed, you must stand for Nigeria. You must fight for Nigeria. You must ensure that the child of nobody becomes somebody without knowing anything. You must know that what we have right now is not about just this generation. It's about the people who are yet to be born. And you must ensure that as you go into office by the grace of God, we'll do all we can to ensure that you get that. You are not looking at the people who will praise you today. You are looking at those people that will praise you a hundred years from today. The way that said the Singapore can have an equal in you, we want to have a Peter. The way that South, South Africa can have their Samantha, we should have a people. Don't get into office and be carried away. Don't get into office and forget the people that brought you here. Don't get into office and forget the youth. And I said something. I need to see the office around you change. I need to see more youth around you. I need to see more women around you. I am for me. And I will say it categorically because I see a lot of people who keep asking. I'm not interested in any position. I'm not, going, I'm not going to work for you. I will hold you accountable so that you give Nigeria the best that Nigeria deserves. Thank you.